This is the video you have all been waiting for, but before we get into it, I want to give a quick announcement about something that could possibly be happening to this channel. It has not happened yet. Some of you guys might know that YouTube is out for hunting YouTubers once again and demonetizing content. Luckily, I haven't been affected yet. Monetizing content makes a lot of these trips like this one that I took possible because I'm able to cover some of the gas money and equipment needs for particular things. But that's beside the point. I have not been affected, but I'm gonna need to start thinking about a plan B. Right now, I do have a Patreon for the podcast, so that might be the ending platform. So if you guys want to get a head start, maybe listen to some of the um, limited edition podcast episodes only for Patreon people, go give that a look. Like I said, I haven't been affected yet. You guys have been asking me when to hop on, give. You guys, quick announcement about that before we dive into probably one of my favorite videos that I could have ever done this season. So check it out and leave me a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Well, good morning, guys. Today is a very, very, very special day and one that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm kind of going with no expectations, hoping for the best, but no expectations. Today is Cora's. First, hey, uh-uh, it's her first hunt here. Today is little Cora's first hunt. She's nine months old. We've been working hard with the training over at Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, and I think it's time to just let her go, let her learn, let her figure things out, throw her in the fire. We've covered basically everything that we can cover for, you know, for this hunt to go well. So, you know, you can always expect them to do worse in a new environment. So we're over here hunting with my buddy Cole at one of his private little marshes that he's got and uh, it's like the perfect situation for a dog's first hunt so stay tuned I'm gonna try and capture as much as it, uh, as much of this as I can because this is a big day for me too so I'm more excited to see this video for myself than to really put it out there for you guys so this is something that I've been working for, towards for I don't know shoot since the end of January when I picked her up so this is it's gonna be maybe an emotional day it could be could be a lot of fun could be a headache but we'll roll with the punches we got to teach her how to hunt so stick with me guys or your dog's gonna wonder why my gun went. let's lighten up on the decoys right now teal right there sure. sit you ready yep sit Here we go. mark dead bird heel heel Sit. Dead bird. Cora. Uh-uh. Heel. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Cora! Touch it up. Here. Cora, here. I don't think she got a good mark on it either. Cora, here. That bird, that bird, fetch it up. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, no, sit. That bird, that bird, that bird. Cora. That bird, that bird, that bird. Fetch it up. Fetch. Yes, good. Uh uh. Fetch it up. Here, fetch. That bird. Good girl, fetch it up. Fetch, good, yes, good. Good girl, yeah, good job, good job. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, sit. 
Good girl! Here! Sit! Drop! Good job! Good girl! Good girl! There's her first retrieve. Hey, that's awesome. We had to work for it, but... Perfect. No, that's it though. The, at first it didn't want to acknowledge, it did then, and now it probably the next one will do everything twice as quick. Oh, she you understands the game. Heel. Place. Place. Sit. Did that one come from the north? It came through that gap in the trees. Okay. Sit. Cora's first retrieve. What do you think, girly? You want another one. That was good. I was thinking she'd go, but she was just kind of all over the place. She was unsure. So I had to coax her a little bit. And we got out there. We figured out it was a dead bird. And that helped out quite a bit. So we'll see the progression here throughout this hunt. And hopefully she kind of gets the, gets the gist of what I'm asking her to do. It's kind of a lot. I don't think she got a good mark on it. So that would probably help our situation in that instance. No! Heel. I'm gonna push this. She's jacked up now. She's she's understanding what we're out here doing. And uh, that was good. She grabbed it by the wing, ran off, readjusted when she got to dry ground, and she did deliver to hand. I was kind of scared she'd run off, but a few tweets on the whistle, she came over. So, you know, just building blocks. I didn't expect perfection by any means, but could have been a lot worse. She did good. I'm very happy. And uh, it's the first step in a long-term hunting relationship with this little one. So I'm pumped. With it being Cora's first hunt, I think it went pretty good. We only got one, one teal. That's it. That's all that came in. We could have shot a bunch of doves, but we wanted to keep it just a teal hunt. Just just because this little squirt was here, but we could have really laid into some doves today. But um, I'm gonna fetch it. Hold. Good girl. We're getting there. Drop. We're definitely getting there. She's in the zone. We're just in the process of learning what it's like to sit still and do nothing and wait for the birds. So this is a great training experience for us. It was a great retrieving experience. Once she figured out that it, that was a bird and not a decoy, she was in it to win it and she was about it. And I'm just really excited to see all of her future retrieves. But at this point, we are on the board with one retrieve in her lifetime for duck hunting. So it's really exciting. So make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But just uh, probably a short and sweet video with only having one set come through. But all in all guys, I think we're off to a great start with her and everything that she's going to be doing. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Corner.